Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 731. This is previous year question paper and this question paper came in 2015, 25th October 2015, it means last time this paper was held. There are 100 questions as you know in title to mathematics and each and every question we will discuss in this presentation we will cover 25 questions there will be four parts and all parts through all parts all question will be covered now the question number one is 6 square plus 7 square plus 8 square plus 9 square plus 10 square divided by 7 plus root 3 and root minus 4 plus 2 root 3 and entire whole root you can say now we have to solve this question this is you can say simplification question so let's first solve this this is equal to root 3 and plus 2 or 2 plus root 3 you can say because we have to write the bigger term first so it should be equal to like this this is equal to 2 root 3 2 plus root 3 and square of this is equal to like this similarly so this would become it will cancel it will become 2 plus root 3 and similarly this term also would be equal to root 3 plus 1 and root square so this would be equal to 3 plus 1 that is 4 and 4 plus 2 root 3 4 plus 2 root 3 if you open this bracket so it will also cancel like this so 2 plus root 3 minus root 3 and it will also become minus so it should be equal to 2 minus 1 that is 1 you can say denominator would be 1 and denominator would be 36 49 64 81 and 100 so no 9 plus 6 15 plus 4 19 plus 1 20 0 would be the answer in a unit digit of answer would be 0 so there is only one option in which there is zero so answer should be d otherwise you can uh, add all these you will get the answer question number two this is data interpretation question there are five questions generally you will find five questions in data interpretation the following graph shows production in thousands of two types p and q of vehicle by a factory over the years 2009 to 2014 study the graph and answer five question this is the graph 2009 10 11 12 13 14 now type p this is type p you can say type p 2009 10 11 12 13 14 and this is type q 9 10 11 12 13 14 now what is the question question is the total production of type P vehicle in the year 2009 and 2011 is 2009 of type P. P is this 2009 and 2011. This is 11. So total production is 300. 300 divided by what percentage of total production of type Q in a 2010-11 type Q 2010 type q 2010 this is 2010 and 2014 type q sorry type q this is 150 this is type a q and then 2010 and 2014 this is 14 so 100 plus 225 that is 375 375 150 plus 225 that would be 375 into 100 it should be equal to 80 percent 80 percent is the answer answer is a next question question number three production of type q vehicle in 2010 was approximately what percentage of q vehicle in 2014 so q vehicle in 2010 this is q vehicle and 2010 that is this is 150 what percentage of Q vehicle in 2014? 2014 Q vehicle would be equal to 225. 
सो वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू हंड्रेड इट वुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स बाई नाइन दैट इज यू कैन से टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो इट इज इनफैक्ट पी दिस इज पी नोट क्यू सो इट शुड बी इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई टू सेवेंटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी फाइव इन टू हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई इलेवन दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट समथिंग डी शुड बी द आंसर डी शुड बी द आंसर हेयर इट इज पी नोट क्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अप्रोक्सीमेट परसेंटेज ऑफ डिक्रीज इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टाइप क्यू वेहकल फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टेन टू इलेवन टू थाउजेंड टेन टू इलेवन क्यू वेहकल दिस इज क्यू एंड टू थाउजेंड टेन दिस इज टेन सो देर इज देर आर ट्वेंटी फाइव लेस एज कंपेयर टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाई वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड इट शुड बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी बाई थ्री सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन शुड बी द आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव रेशियो द टोटल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टाइप पी टाइप पी इज दिस हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी फाइव एंड टू सेवेंटी फाइव सो टू सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव वुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री टू फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड यू कैन टेक इट थ्री हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड प्लस वन फिफ्टी इलेवन फिफ्टी सॉरी दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड सो टोटल एड एडिंग वुड बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ऑफ पी एंड क्यू वुड बी इक्वल टू वन सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव यू कैन टेक दीज टू फर्स्ट टू हंड्रेड प्लस वन हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड वन फिफ्टी फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वुड बी इक्वल टू वन जीरो टू फाइव एंड द रेशियो वुड बी इक्वल टू वन जीरो टू फाइव इट विल गो बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव दैन फोर्टी एट रेशियो फोर्टी वन वट इज द क्वेश्चन रेशियो क्यू वेहकल टू ओवर द ईयर दिस वी हैव टू टेल द रेशियो दिस टू फोर्टी एट एंड This is forty. In fact, forty-eight, forty, uh, forty-one wrongly printed. This is forty-eight. This is not eleven. Forty-one. So answer should be B. Next question. Question number six. In how many of the given year was the production of type P vehicle of the company more than the average production of these vehicle in the given years? So total was six hundred of P. Total was. Sorry, total was twelve hundred of P, and one, two, three, four, five, six years. It means more than two hundred. Average is two hundred. Question is number of times more than two hundred, more than average. That is three years. So three should be the answer. Answer is three. Next question, question number seven. If three a square plus b square plus c square, this is given. Now put value. Here, if I put here a is equal to two, b is equal to two, and c is equal to two, then two uh, four plus four plus four that is four plus four plus four twelve three into twelve, and here two plus two plus two that is six six square that is thirty six, and here is also thirty six. So if I put value equal, then it will be equal. Otherwise, there will be uh, uh, it will not be equal. this equation will not be satisfied so answer should be b you can put value now the question number 8 a car covers four successive 7 km distance at the speed of 10 km 20 km 30 km 60 km per hour respectively its average speed over his over this distance would be what is the formula of average speed total distance 
डिवाइड बाय टोटल टाइम टोटल टाइम सो व्हाट इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस सेवन प्लस सेवन प्लस सेवन प्लस सेवन फोर टाइम्स स्पीड ऑफ टेन किलोमीटर नाउ फोर दिस वर फोर सक्सेसिव सेवन किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस इज वन टू थ्री फोर सो एंड हेयर टाइमिंग वुड बी टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर दैट इज टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर मीन्स टोटल टाइम वुड बी सेवन बाई टेन हेयर सेवन बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन बाई थर्टी एंड सेवन बाय सिक्सटी सो एल्शियम वुड बी सिक्सटी इट शुड बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज थर्टी फोर्टीन एंड सेवन सो फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू प्लस फोर्टी टू एट्टी फोर डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी एट्टी टू फोर डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी एट सो ट्वेंटी एट and then 84 into 60 so average speed would be equal to 20 answer is 20 b should be the answer next question question number 9 a cylinder with base radius 8 cm and height 2 cm is melted to form a cone of height 6 cm radius of the cone would be how much very easy question cylinder with base what is the volume of cylinder pi R square that is eight into eight and h that is two, which is given, and the volume should be equal in both the cases. So it is formed cone that is one by three pi, and R square we have to tell and into h pi you can cancel with pi, and then h is given that is six, h is given that is six. It means it will cancel to R square is equal to sixty four, or you can say eight square. R is equal to eight. What is the question? Radius of the cone we have to tell R is equal to eight. So in both the cases volume is same. You have to think in that way. Question number ten. A dealer fix the price of an article forty percent above the cost of production, while selling it allows a discount of twenty percent and make a profit of forty eight. Cost of production of the article would be how much? Let's take hundred rupees and forty percent above the cost. That is one hundred forty. While selling it, allow the discount of twenty percent. Twenty percent discount means twenty eight rupees discount equal to twenty eight rupees discount. It means one one two is the selling price in fact. And then he makes a profit of forty eight. So now in this case, the profit is twenty twelve rupees. If profit is twelve rupees. CP is hundred rupees. CP is hundred rupees. If profit is forty eight, then CP would be four hundred. Hundred divided by twelve into forty eight. That would be equal to four hundred. So answer is C. Next question, question number eleven. Average of n number is a. The first number is increased by two. Second one is increased by four. Third one is increased by eight. And so on. The average of the new number we have to tell. Now, such kind of question you can uh, solve by putting value. Average of a, average of n number is a. So, let's say one, two, three, four, five. You can take five or four. You can take five plus four, nine plus three, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and a, total number is a. So, average is three. Fifteen by five, that is three, is the average. We have taken five number, average of n number. In place of n, we have taken five. So here, value of n is equal to five, and the first uh, average is a. So average a average is three here. Now, first number is increased by two, second number is four, and third number is eight, and so on. For example, this is number increased by two, that is this number would become three. Second number is increased by four. That is four plus two six. Then this number is increased by eight. Three plus eight that is eleven. So two into two that is four into two eight eight into two sixteen. So in this number we can add sixteen. That is four plus sixteen. That would be equal to twenty. And now thirty two will we will add in a five. So thirty two plus five thirty seven. Thirty seven divided by five. So six plus three nine. Plus eleven twenty twenty plus twenty forty forty plus thirty seven forty plus thirty seven that is seventy seven by five. This is the average of the new number. 
Average of new number B would be how much? 77 by 5. Now put in the equation with option which can satisfy this expression. Let's say if A is equal to 5, if A is equal to 3, 3 plus here you put uh, 2 and n is equal to 5. So 2 into 3 and 2 into 2, this should be 5. So 8 into 4, 32. Minus, minus 1, that is 31. So 2 into 31 divided by n, and here is 5. So it's, it is equal to 5 into 2, 10, 10 plus, this is 31. Here, 31 and then 5. So you get uh, write in this format 3 plus 2 here and plus 6 plus 1 by 5. 1 by 5. And here this is equal to 5. It will do, uh, if we divide 77 by 5 then it will be equal to 15 plus 2 by 5. Sorry, it should be like this calculation. This is 2 and 11, 31 by 5. So 2 into 31, this is into, in, in fact, in, not in plus, it is in multiply. So it should be equal to 62 by 5. 3 plus 62 by 5 should be equal to 15 plus 62, that is 77 by 5. So this expression is equal to this which is clearly visible from this uh, by putting value that this should be the answer. This cannot be answered. This cannot be answered because here you will not be able to make it uh, equal to 77 by 5 because here neither in this case because it will be more than that. So A should be the answer by putting value you can solve this question. Question number 12. If a x is equal to a sin theta minus b cos theta and y is equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta, then which of the following is true? We have to find which of the following is true. Squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides, you will get x square, then it, it should be equal to, squaring of this would be equal to a square plus a square sin square theta minus plus b square cos square theta minus 2 a b sin theta and cos theta and plus of this y square y square then we will have squaring both side squaring both side we will get a square plus uh, a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta plus 2 a b sin theta and cos theta if we add x and y square adding x square plus y square we will get this will cancel to this and we will get a square here in this case a square and sin square you can write here plus a, uh, b square this is cos square and this is sin square so a square would be equal to sin square plus you can take it break in bracket then it would be equal to cos square theta and plus b square would be equal to this is sin square this is cos square so cos square plus theta plus sin square theta sin square theta it should be equal to a square plus b square because this is one and this is also one sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one so total would be x square plus y square is equal to a square plus b square answer should be A. What we have done in this question is that simple thing we have done two things. One is we have square, square both side. X square then we will have A, sin, A square plus sin square plus B square cos square theta minus 2 sin theta 2 A sin theta and B sin, cos theta. Similarly we have done here squaring of this. So A square cos square theta plus B square sin square theta plus 2, co, 2, 2 A B cos theta sin theta. So it will cancel to this. So ultimately you will get x square plus y square, a square plus b square. Answer question number 13. If let, let x is equal to root 13 plus root 11 divided by root 13 minus root 
11 and y is equal to 1 by x and then value of 3x square minus 5xy minus 3y square is equal to how much. So, this expression we, we have to find this expression we have we can write this expression in this format 3x plus y whole square it means this would be equal to 3x square plus 3y square 3x square plus 3y square plus here in, uh, we will have 2 into x square plus y square minus minus 11 x y you can write y let's see let, let me open this bracket 3 x square or you can write here like this 3 x square y square and 2 x y this should be equal to 3 x square plus 3 y square plus 6 x y plus 6 x y I have written here 11 minus 11 x y so it should be equal to this is equal to this and six x y minus eleven x y that is minus five x y it will be equal to minus five x y so this expression is equal to this now see here it is we have to make it in x and plus y term and x into y. So, x plus y would be equal to x is given root 13 plus root 11 divided by root 3 13 minus root 11 and y x plus y y is equal to opposite of x y is equal to opposite of x. So, root 13 minus root 11 divided by root 13 plus root 11 plus root 11. So, if you multiply this, you take LCM this, uh, then you have to multiply A minus B and A plus B, it should be equal to A square minus B square that is 13 minus 1 11 that is 2 should be in numerator and then you multiply to this. So, it would be equal to root 13 plus root 11 square plus here you will have root 13 minus 11 square because this will to multiply with this. So, root 13 minus root 11 is square like this. So, a square plus you can say if you open this bracket you will get thirteen plus eleven eleven because two into thirteen plus uh, two into thirteen into eleven this would be minus then it will be plus uh, this is minus this is plus it will cancel it will cancel so thirteen plus eleven here and thirteen plus eleven it would be two times you can say two times and divided by two so it will cancel thirteen plus eleven should be the value of that is twenty four should be the value of this expression that is x plus y. So, here you can write 3 into 24 square 24 and square minus x y minus 11 x y. So, it is it will cancel you can say root 13 divided by root this expression will cancel when we write here to this 13 minus 11 because this is a positive of this. So, it will cancel it will cancel to this so it would be equal to 1 11 into 1 so here it is equal to 24 into 24 that is 576 into 3 it should be equal to 728 and minus would be equal to 1717 a should be the answer a should be the answer next question question number 14 if 64 bucket of water are removed from the cubicle shaped water tank completely filled with water, 1 by 3 of the tank remained filled with water. The length of 
each side of the tank is 1.2 meter assuming that all buckets are of the same measures then the volume of water contained by each bucket is how much volume of the tank would be equal to 1.2 1.2 and 1.2 meter 1.2 1.2 meter and this is equal to as far as liter are in concern you can multiply it by 1000 the reason is that 1 cubic meter 1 cubic meter would be equal to 1000 liter in other words if there is a cube out or cube 1 meter length 1 meter breadth and 1 meter height then it is equal to 1000 liter so we have that uh, just we have multiplied into by 1000 liter because we have to find the answer in liters so this is the total volume of the tank total volume of the tank now total of the volume of the tank 64 bucket of water are removed from a cuboidal shape which is equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 is equal to 64 because 1 by 3 is left 1 by 3 water is a left so 2 by 3 water has been removed and which is equal to 64 so x would be equal to 64 into 3 by 2 you can say that 96 there will be total bucket so volume of one bucket would be what will be equal to divided by 97 96 this is the total volume of tank and this is the number of a bucket when a tank is fully filled it means there will be 96 bucket of water so one water one bucket volume we can find from this so this should be equal to you can in place of this one you can write this so it would be equal to 80 liter is the volume of a bucket answer is b next question question number 15 trapezium a b c d in a trapezium a b c d a b parallel to c d this is trapezium and a b c and d a b is parallel to c d a b is two times to c d a b is two times it means this is x then this would be equal to two x it's diagonal intersect at a, this is these are diagonal intersect at a, o in area of a o b this is the area area of a o b is equal to 84 then the area of cod cod area we have to tell the area of this what will be the area of this now what is the property property of this is these are similar triangle why similar because this angle would be equal to this angle because these are two parallel and this would be then alternate angle this would be equal to this and this is opposite angle so both a uh, three angle of this triangle is equal to three angle of this uh, this triangle so this triangle is equal is similar to this triangle it means d o c is a, a similar to a o b now if these are similar triangle then property of similar triangle will be applied so this is the area of area of a o b and area of a d o c triangle this is 84 and you can take it x or a because x we have taken side so area you can write otherwise area also which is equal to this is x and this is 2x so square of the corresponding side it should be in the same ratio of a square of their corresponding side area should be in the same ratio of square of their corresponding side that is equal to this in other words this should be equal to 4x square divided by x square or area would be equal to 84 by 4 that is 21 area is equal to a is equal to 21 84 divided by 4 21 should be the answer answer is b next question question number 16 question is if water tax is increased by 20 percent but its consumption is decreased by 20 percent then the increase or decrease in the expenditure of the money would be how much so this kind of question we can solve by successive percentage technique x minus y minus x y by 100 
this is successive percentage when one is increasing second is decreasing increase plus uh, into decrease that is minus so this can you can solve by this trick that is you can cancel minus 4 decrease minus 4 decrease answer is b next question question number 17 and what kind of trick we can use in this kind of question a number when divided by 361 gives a remainder 47 if the same number is divided by 19 the remainder obtained would be how much when a number divided by 361 give remainder 47 if the same number is divided by 19 then remainder obtained would be how much so in this kind of question you can divide to this remainder by this number and you will get the same you will get an answer 7 9 should be the answer 9 the trick is you divide 47 by 19 remainder you such kind of question you can divide by this number why because these are this is a factor of this this is factor of this that's why we can divide that into remainder now the next question is a question number 18 now what is the question if this is given so if you can write this expression in this format because here it is 5 p3 in the denominator but you can write it in p minus 1 and p minus 3 that is p minus 4 would be equal to this would be equal to p minus 4 and q in place of q you can write q2 and when it go to uh, numerator it will become 2 4 divided by divided by or you can multiply you can buy you can write here divided by p3 here you can write here you can write this is equal to p7 because when you go to numerator it will become p7 p7 and then q here it will become minus 6 so this you can write in this format p minus 11 and q you can say 10 p minus 11 and q you can say 10 that is that is we have p and q what is the value of a plus b so this is equal to p a and p b it means a is equal to minus 11 and b is equal to 10 we have to find the value of a plus b a plus b is equal to minus 1 answer is d next question question number 19 in a triangle abc d is parallel to bc let's say this is triangle a b and c d is parallel to bc d e is parallel to bc where d is a point on ab and e is a point on ac d e divide the area of abc into two equal parts this area is equal to this area then db we have to find the ratio of this ratio and ab that is complete ratio this ratio so area of this is equal if this is one centimeter square then this would be equal to one centimeter square because the area of both the cases is same so in triangle adb these are two similar angle triangle why this is common angle of both ade and abc we are taking two triangle which are similar which are these two triangle ade and abc this is corresponding angle you can say this angle is equal to this and this angle is this that, that's why these two triangle are a similar triangle so area of this a b c divided by a d e if this is 1 plus 1 that is 2 centimeter square this would be 1 centimeter square and ratio of their corresponding side ratio of the square of their uh, of cor por um, corresponding side which is equal to you can say the area of these two corresponding triangle now here it would be equal to a b square and a d square a d square so this a b you can say and a d ratio would be equal to root 2 by 1 because if you uh, root both sides then you will have a b root 2 now this entire is equal to root 2 and a d is equal to 1 this would be equal to then root 2 minus 1 root 2 minus 1 be equal to this so what is the question db that is root 2 minus 1 and ab 
AB is equal to root 2, root 2. This is the ratio, root 2 minus 1 and root 2. So, D should be the answer. Next question, question number 20. A and B have their monthly incomes in the ratio 8 is to 5, while their monthly expenditures are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If they have saved two rupees twelve thousand and rupees ten thousand monthly respectively, then the difference in their monthly income would be how much? Income is equal to saving plus expenditure, and here we have given income ratio eight x and five x. Let's say these are their income, and expenditure in the ratio five to three, and saving that is minus twelve thousand because income minus saving that would be expenditure. Income minus saving that would be expenditure which is in the ratio of 5 to 3. So, this is the question, this is the question, Eight, this is income minus saving that is expenditure, um, expenditure which is in the 5 to 3. So, now this should be equal to 24x 36,000 is equal to 25x is equal to 50,000 is equal to 50,000 x is equal to you can say 14,000 x is equal to 14,000. What is the question? Difference in their income. Difference in their income is 3x, that is 14,000 into 3x, 3, that is 42,000 is the difference in their income, that is answer is A. Next question, question number 21. Read this question carefully. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is cyclic quadrilateral. This is cyclic quadrilateral. A, B, C, D. This is cyclic quadrilateral. And A, B, C, and D. You can take it like this. A, B, C, D. When produced at E, these are produced. These are produced for the let us say at a P. So, P A, P A is 8 from here to this side 8 and P B this is 6, P C that is 4 and P D we have to tell this. So, what is the property? Property is P A into P B is equal to P D into P C. So, P A is equal to given 8. P B is equal to given 6, P D we have to find and P C is equal to 4. So, this would be equal to 12. So, P D would be equal to 12, 12 centimeter would be the answer. Next question, question number 22. What is the question? Read this question carefully and try to solve. In a school, there were 1, 5, 5, 4 students and the ratio of a number of boys and girls was 4 is to 3. After few days, 30 girls joined the school but few boys left. As a result, the ratio of boys and the girls became 7 is to 6. Number of boys who left the school would be how much? So, 1, 5, 5, 4 and that is divided into 3 is to 4 is to 3. 4 boys, 3 girls, boys and girls. 4 is to 3. This should be equal to 4 by 7 into 1, 5, 5, 4. In other words, 8, 8, 8. And girls would be 6, 6, 6 because this is 3. 2, 2, 2 multiplied by 3. That would be 6, 6, 6. So, total would be 1, 5, 5, 5. Few days, after few days, 30 girls joined. So, 30 girls joined means 6, 96 are now the girls. And few boys left. As a result, the ratio of boys and girls became 7 to 6. This ratio has become 7 to 6. That is, boys, boys is 1880, 888 minus 1, minus x. That is, in few boys left. That is, x and 696 girls. So, this has become 7 to 6 ratio. So, this should be equal to minus 6x, this is equal to four eight seven two, 
and 6x would be equal to 4872 you can x would be equal to 76 so 76 boys left the school answer is b next question question number 23 read this question what is this question and try to solve on you at your own now here you can write this in this format 4 sin square theta plus 3 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta is equal to 4 in other words 3 sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 4 you can say sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so 4 sin square theta is equal to 4 minus this would be this side minus oh, uh, 4 minus 3 that is 1 sin square theta is equal to 1 by 4 or you can say sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 sin theta 1 by 2 is equal to 30 degree so the value of theta is 30 degree tangent theta tangent 30 would be equal to 1 by root 3 answer is a next question question number 24 24. If 3x minus 2y is equal to 3x minus 2y, why this is 3x divided by 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 by 6. So 12x minus 12y, uh, 18x. This is 3x. 18x minus 12y is equal to 10x plus 15y. In other words, 6x is equal to 27. Y eight eight x is equal to twenty seven y x by y is equal to twenty seven by eight twenty seven by eight x is equal to twenty seven and y is equal to eight. Now put this value in this Ro cube root of x that is cube root of twenty seven would be equal to three because three power three is equal to twenty seven and cube root would be equal to three. So three plus y we can have two three minus one and square three plus two that is five by one. And square would be equal to 25. So after putting value, we get a is equal to 25. Next question, question number 25. And what is the question? If tangent a is equal to n tangent b and sine a is equal to m sine b, then the value of cos square a would be how much? In such kind of question, you can put value. Let's say tangent a tangent you can take value for example 60. It is you should you should try not to take forty five because then in option it can be either it can go in infinity or zero so better would be either take sixty or thirty so let's say sixty tangent sixty would be equal to root three root three is equal to n and tangent take let's be tangent b you can take thirty and you can take here sixty so tangent b would be equal to one by root three so here n is equal to now here n is equal to three. Similarly, here sine a we have taken value of a is equal to 60. Sine a sine 60 would be equal to root 3 by 2, and m and sine b that is 30. Sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2. So m is equal to root 3. Here n is equal to 3 and m is equal to root 3. So now put the value in the option. Sorry, here cos square a would be how much? Cos square a would be how much? Now cos square a would be equal to cos square a. A is here 60. So cos 60 is 1 by 2, and square would be equal to 1 by 4. Now from the option C, in which it is making 1 by 4, in which it is making 1 by 4. So 3 plus here uh, root 3 square that is 3 uh, plus 1 that is 4. So it it cannot be possible here root 3. Means three minus one that is two, two divided by n square. N square that is nine, nine minus one that is eight. Two by eight, one by four. So answer, option B is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. What we have done in this question, we have put just the value tangent A. We put A is equal to sixty degree and B in place of the we put thirty degree. When we uh, solve in this way, then it is easier to find the answer. So in this way we have covered all 25 question in part one. In the next part we will cover question from 26 to 50. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the best.